There is a big problem right now with Crisis Core Reunion, and we need Square Enix's attention so that they can fix it. And before you guys go ahead and say it, no, it is not the voice actors. Please hit that like button, let's spread this info around, we gotta get this video to over a thousand likes to get Square Enix to realize this issue exists, and while you're at it, subscribe and hit that notification bell, because we got a lot of Crisis Core guys coming your way that you don't want to miss out on. Only 32% of you guys who watch and love the videos are currently subbed. Let's raise that even higher and get this to Square Enix's attention. Now with that being said, let's get into the video. A few days ago, I made a Buster Sword guide going into deep detail on its mechanics and how everything functions, which you can check out right now on the channel, or the card on the top right of the screen. Now what we thought previously was that the Buster Sword stops increasing at 95% proficiency and this was an intended limit in the game. A few people I know were able to confirm this, as well as IGN themselves, which on their guide website made a statement that it's currently impossible to make it past 95%, and that the last ability earned is Barrier Piercing. Now keep that one in mind. However, thanks to Reddit user Vixtor, they posted a photo of them reaching 100% with it. So I asked, how was this possible? Did they have to do anything different? He said no, it just kept going up naturally for him with no issues. So I asked, what system are they playing it on? and they confirmed that they are in fact on the PlayStation 5. So then it started to make sense to me. Myself and others who are playing on the PC version are not able to get to 100% with the Buster Sword, and this is most likely due to the day one patch that consoles received, which would have fixed this issue, among many others. However, sadly, PC players on Steam have not gotten that just yet. And to clarify, yes, IGN did play Crisis Core and base their review and guides off of the PS5 version as well. However, they, like myself, received Crisis Core Reunion early from Square Enix before there was even a Day 1 patch, 1.01. So their information is most likely before that patch came into the game. Unless, you know, they saw Baby Seal's tweet and took credit for that info and just said fuck it. You know, which, which is it, IGN? <laughs> As of right now, Crisis Core Reunion on PC Steam is the 1.00 version. There was no day one patch, unlike the 1.01 version on consoles or the PS5 version. And I really hope this gets fixed because remember how I said IGN confirmed that the last ability is earned at 47% and it's called Barrier Piercing? Well, shout out to Vixtor again because he hit me up today and he said that he gained an ability called Barrier Break which, I won't lie, seems kind of redundant. It allows you to basically break barriers, whereas previously we were able to pierce them, and yeah, I get it. And he said he received this ability around 80, maybe 70%, and noticed that my video and IGN's website did not include it in the list of abilities. So not only on PC can we not reach 100% proficiency, but many others, including myself, are unable to get barrier break due to some massive bugs with the way that proficiency works in Crisis Core Reunion. Like I said guys, please hit that like button and share this around wherever you can so we can spread the word and get Square Enix to hook the PC players up. I also want to confirm, thanks to everyone in the previous video's comments, that random 10% proficiency bonus that we thought was a glitch is an actual in-game mechanic because it has happened to many, many players. And immediately after gaining that 10%, they have somehow unlocked the damage limit break ability, which is kind of crazy how inconsistent this Buster Sword mechanic is for Crisis Core Reunion. I really hope this entire thing gets fixed and works properly. Don't get me wrong, the Buster Sword mechanic isn't super important compared to all the other end game options we have access to later on, but it's very good for the early game. And it's annoying that the game itself is just not functioning consistently for everyone with the Buster Sword and its abilities earned. What do you guys think about all this? Sound off below in the comments and let's get a discussion going. The next video is coming out soon and it will be about Materia, Fusion, and it'll be an entire guide relating towards that. And then my super late Crisis Core Reunion review. I hope you guys are excited for that. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy videos are on the way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.